Gordon Astley on BBC Southern Counties Radio. Right, I want you to listen closely to my next article because this is one of those which will get a reaction from you, okay? And I hope you're not eating. Picture the scene. It's a warm day, okay? Out in the garden you are relaxing when a little insect bites you. Okay, irritating. You probably won't worry that it might be something more serious. Well, the Ackroyd family from Burfham got a bit of a shock this summer when a tick bite turned out to be the start and the cause of a very nasty illness. Justine Ackroyd is joining me now. Hi, Justine. Hello. So there we are, with Hubby in the back garden. Mm. Tell me the story. How did it all start? Well, he it was a really sunny day, and he'd been on an early shift, and he just thought he'd relax in the garden for a few hours in the sunshine, and um, which he did, um, on the grass. And um, and then that evening he was having a shower and he um, discovered there was a tick attached to his um, upper thigh. And um, so I was aware that there was a possible danger because um, I'm a student nurse and I'd um, heard of Lyme's disease um, the previous week um, and had actually read up on it. So I was quite concerned. I tried to remove it. Um, the wrong way, and um, well, trying to remove it's a problem, isn't it? It is. I mean, I, I used um, nail polish remover, thinking it would withdraw its claws, but that isn't the right thing to do. I've subsequently found out. Well, they're like most animals; they'll retreat from a threat, won't they? Yeah, um, but what they'll also do is, um, I've I've since learned, is they'll regurgitate um, back into you. So if they're carrying the um, the bacteria that causes Lyme disease, um, they're likely to you'll, you've got more chance of contracting it which is exactly what I did, and five days later he had the rash appearing on the opposite leg, and at that point onwards he was put on treatment, and two weeks after that he got a diagnosis of Lyme disease. And Lyme disease is what? It's, um, I've done lots of research now, I mean there's so much information out there. Um, it, 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 first of all you get the rash, then that typically goes away with or without treatment. Um, but without treatment, it can then um, attack the central nervous system. Um, the end result, if it becomes a chronic condition, can be heart block, um, dementia, arthritis, all sorts of horrible things. And the strange thing is, because they're so small, and because the word itself, tick, is small, mm. you think nothing of it, really, do no, you? No, I, you know, they're just something you get on your dog and your cat. And, yeah. and, and until this summer, I never saw them as anything sinister. I was out in America once and one landed on me. It was a deer tick, and they're nasty little beggars, they are. Yeah. And you, you, just, you, you really have to get. Luckily, there was a guy on the campsite where we were, and he was one of those guys who knew exactly what to do. But the, the wrong thing is to do the old tweezers and, and try and put to into antiseptic and stuff on because that little thing goes in. Do you know where the actual tick ended up in your husband's body? Um, well, it, it was on his upper thigh, and we, uh, you know, I don't know where it started, but that's where we found it attached, and um, and I removed it and, and, and threw it away. <laughs> it ended up in the bin. So he ended up on antibiotics. Yeah. How is he now? Um, he's okay. I mean, I, I'm always watching him. That he was on, he was on quite a long course, but that was through um, me kind of plugging for him to be on it for longer than the GP originally wanted him to be. Um, he appears well. He's He's very tired. I don't know whether that's down to work or something else. And he, you know, he, he appears okay. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> yeah, but you're a nurse, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. So we're always looking for things and thinking it might be yeah. something that it is. What about the rest of the family? Do you worry about the rest of the family? Well, our daughter, that's where it, it got worse because um, we found a tick crawling on our daughter and she, we then realised she also had a suspicious rash. Um, and so she was also put on treatment. Uh, for people who don't know, just describe what a tick would look like. Um, it starts off the size of a poppy seed. Um, it, it grows to, when it's engorged, about the size of a, a small frozen pea. Um, it looks like a little harmless spider, but without the thread. Um, so you would, could be mistaken to think it was a mini spider just walking over your hand. Now, you say you've done your research. One would presume this is a rare disease, but you know of more cases, don't you, in the area? I do, I do. Um, there's a case in Newhurst. I don't know the gentleman personally, but that's only down the road from us. Um, and lots of um, residents have now, since 
since um, the article that ran in the local paper have said, well, actually, we've found them in our back garden and, and three other children have had them attached, attached to them over the summer. Do you know everybody listening to this show now is having a reaction and most people will probably be scratching at the moment, won't they? Yeah, but actually ticks don't make you scratch. You know, that, that's the other thing. They inject an anaesthetic into you so you don't actually feel it. So you can be bitten without realising. Has it affected you? Are, you? are you a bit worried about going out in the garden now or into the woods or such like? Absolutely. I mean, I'm trying not to panic or panic anyone else, um, but we're now taking precautions such as um, wearing long trousers, um, welly boots in our garden, which seems ridiculous in the summer, but at the moment I'm, I'm still quite sort of affected by it. The children don't go out in the garden, actually, and insect repellent. And checking them, of course, when they've been out, checking them thoroughly, which my children find very tedious, but they've got to learn to live with it now. What yeah. started off a small incident has changed your life, hasn't it? Definitely, yeah. Changed your life, changed your attitude and spoiled your fun, really, hasn't it? It has, really, because all the things that we... I mean, we moved from London to be out in, in a more greener area, you know, and we're very environmentally friendly, you know, ev everything, we recycle everything, and now it seems like a lot of the things that I value, just, you know, they... I've got a different attitude to it at the moment. Justine, great to talk to you. Thank you for sharing. I think uh, a lot of people will be reacting now, and I know we're going to get calls. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Love to the family. Thank you. Justine Ackroyd there, and now I'm joined by Wendy Fox, who joins the charity Barda UK, which deals with illnesses. Uh, no, we can't go to her at the moment. Can't go to her. We will be going to Wendy Fox from Barda UK.